Quinkin here and welcome to another one of my Manchester United career mode episodes and today we are going to be facing Bayern Munich again in the second leg of the Champions League but before we get into anything I want to thank you guys for going so crazy with the likes and comments in uh, Wednesday's video I want to thank you guys because of that and if we get 50 likes in this episode I will be uploading a future of episode on Friday so you know, if we get 50 likes I will be uploading that on Friday and let's just get into the squad we're going to use versus Bayern Munich in goal we're going to have De Gea we're going to have Fabio Vidic, Inigo Martinez and Alexandro uh, on the defensive line we're going to have Paul Pugba, Michael Carrick we're going to have Jesse Rodriguez, Cristiano Ronaldo we're going to have Kaká and Wayne Rooney as a striker so I did make some changes uh, you know it's kind of similar as a you know the squad we used versus uh, Bayern in the first leg, but we do we are going to be fa we are going to be putting Jesse Rodriguez on the right mid in the previous episode. We used Nani, but I wanted to use Jesse Rodriguez to see how good he was and how effective he would be versus Bayern Munich. But let's just get right into the game. Bayern Munich they just came from losing against us 2-0, a very very good you know result for us. We won at Old Trafford, we won 2-0, and we're coming into Allianz Arena with two goals to zero in aggregate. So if we drew or won, either way, we would have gone to the next leg. But as you guys saw, Real Madrid is facing Barcelona, which is very crazy. A Clasico in the Champions League. And you know, it's crazy to see them facing off so early. It's barely the quarterfinal, and they're already facing each other. But, you know, going into this game versus Bayern Munich, uh, you know, I was going into a mentality that we can't lose. You know, although we do have that 2-0 cushion lead, that is not enough. Bayern Munich is a very good team. They have very good players. You know, they can surprise us at any moment. And, uh, you know, De Gea played very well today. He was trying to keep that second clean sheet uh, that he maintained in the first leg. But to get it in the second leg would be also crazy. And uh, De Gea actually had a very good game. And uh, as you guys see, Bayern Munich does score a goal. And, you know, nothing De Gea could have done. The OP headers are crazy in this game. And, uh, you know, we do go to halftime 1-0. A very good goal. I'm not going to lie, by uh, Bayern Munich and a very good set piece that they had there. Very good uh, tactics going into this game. But uh, I thought Bayern Munich were going to change up their tactics. I thought that uh, Pep Guardiola was actually going to try to change his tactics. Because, you know, lobbing the ball through wasn't working in the first game. And I thought they were going to play more of the, you know, passing style that they played in the second half of our first game. But, you know, they kept lobbing balls over. And, uh, you know, our defense couldn't keep up with that. Uh, you know, our players just came from a very intense game uh, versus Newcastle. And, uh, you know, you know, fitness has to do a lot with this. And uh, they do score and make it 2-0 in the second half. And I was, you know, I was pissed off because we won at home 2-0. And, you know, it's barely, we're barely going to the second half, and they're already winning 2-0. It pissed me off. The second goal wasn't even that good, so I responded with this. A beautiful pass from Pogba, and Ronaldo just seals the deal. He makes it 2-1, and Ronaldo, you know, he's scoring very good goals. He's maintaining us, you know, in every competition, whether it's the league, whether it's the champions. And, uh, you know, we were trying our best versus Bayern Munich. And that, you know, that goal gave us more confidence. And then Alexander Pato gets a beautiful pass. I think the pass was from Inigo Martinez, which is looking good because that means that our center backs are pushing up, you know, pushing that line. So, you know, that means that we're getting more offside traps, which is very good for us. And a very, very, very good assist by Inigo Martinez for Alexander Pato. And like I said, Pato is a beast. Every time I put him in a game, he somehow manages to score, which is very good for us. And we do draw uh, at Bayern's home in the Allianz Arena 2-2. And we move on in the Champions League. But let's see how the results look for everyone else. It looks like Atletico Madrid is going on. They beat Benfica 4-2. Barcelona beat Real Madrid 3-2. Marseille and Shakhtar, they drew 2-2, but Shakhtar is going on, and we beat Bayern Munich 4-2. So, it looks like we're going to be facing a very weak team in the next game, which is Shakhtar Donetsk. I think they play in the Ukraine, and, you know, I just want to uh, give my respects and prayers to, uh, you know, the things that are happening in Ukraine, in Crimea. Uh, you know, Russia, you know, they invaded and, uh, you know, I just want to give my respects to them. Uh, you know, they are trying to get a better government. And uh, for some reason, the Ukraines, 
Uh, I don't know if this is right, but I guess they do want Russians to invade. I really don't know why. But we just got off topic. But we are going to be facing Shakhtar Donetsk in the uh, semifinals of the Champions League. And, you know, we're doing very well. We're doing a great job. And, uh, you know, Ronaldo is doing so freaking good. That guy is in form. And we're actually going to have three games in this episode. So bear with me. Uh, I saw how we're doing in the league. And we are in second place, I believe. And Spurs is in first. So that's very crazy. They took the lead away from us. And, you know, we have to score more goals because that's the only reason they're taking the lead away from us. It's not because of points. It's because of goal difference. So because of that, we are in second place again. And uh, if you guys see those little things on the top left that says follow me, subscribe, uh, please do that. I do have a Twitter. My Twitter is at Quinkin. Follow me so you can talk to me. Subscribe if you're new. But this is a squad we're going to use versus Hull City. We got Lindegaard in goal. We got Rafael, Inigo Martinez, Chris Smalling, and Alexandro. I really love Alexandro. I really don't like to put Butner because Butner, you know, he rushes forward too much. And we're going to have Fellaini, Tom Cleverly, Wayne Rooney, Ronaldo. And we're going to have Jesse Rodriguez and Wilfred Zaha. And I decided to change the formation. I know it looks kind of weird, but I took it from the Real Madrid formation that they have right now. It's a 4-5-1. Uh, they have five midfielders and a striker up top. Uh, and uh, I decided to put Rooney as a center midfielder. I want to see how he played there. And he actually played very well. Uh, we have three center mids. Two uh, wing, uh, wingers and one striker. So it's a very cool formation. It's kind of like a 4-3-3. But with uh, mid left mids and right mids. And we did start off the game very good. Ronaldo scores one uh, scores to make it 1-0. And a very great pass. I really love this formation. We play very differently. And the wingers, you know, instead of staying back, they are rushing forward. And, uh, you know, it's a very good sign for us. Because I love the way... Wingers rush forward. It gives more diversity to the gameplay. And, uh, you know, I love the way we're playing. We're winning 1-0. And whole City did not have any answers for us. We went to halftime winning 1-0. We did have many more shots. Whole City only had two shots, but one on target. And we we're playing very well. Whole City is a very, you know, weak team to say the least. You're not, they're not one of the best teams in the EPL, but they're still trying to take away points from the big teams. But we're playing very well. And Rooney, I'm telling you guys, he plays so good in that position as a center mid. He rushed forward. He has high, high work rates. So that means he rushes forwards and he rushes forward and he goes back. So he rushed forward and Jesse Rodriguez gave him this beautiful pass and he does make it 2-0. A beautiful team play. Rooney rushes forward, he buries that goal in back of the net, and we're winning 2-0, which is very good. Uh, and, you know, whole City weren't going to give up. They do score to make it 2-1, but Lindegaard was, you know, he was doing good, but it looks like he is going down in form. Uh, De Gea is outshining him, to say the least. He used to be the other, uh, other way around. Lindegaard will have some spectacular games, but nonetheless, Lindegaard did have a pretty uh, decent game to say at least he did let that goal sneak by him but we, we were still winning 2-1 and we could have made it 3-1 but Ronaldo I don't know what the hell he was doing he could have made it 3-1 he could have got the hat trick uh, not the hat trick he could have got the double but he does not make it and we do win the game 2-1 and we have to start going scoring more goals uh, when we get to the next season if I'm still the manager of Manchester United I will bring more lethal attackers to the team uh, but I just want to show you guys something that the calendar is almost up we only have a few games as you guys see we're gonna be facing West Ham uh, West Ham next we're gonna shock our Donetsk Norwich City and then we're gonna be facing shock Todd again and you know we only have like seven games left and you know it, the season has been going by fast I know I could have finished it in like 20 episodes but I like taking my time and we are going to be facing Sunderland, Everton, and Southampton. Those are the last three games of the league, and you know it's been a, you know a, it's been a breeze to say the least. You know we played a lot of games, a lot of episodes have been taken out. You guys love these uh, these episodes, this series of Manchester, and uh, you know I'm thinking of changing teams because MGH has a Manchester United career mode. And uh, he just bought Ronaldo. I just saw his episode today. He bought Ronaldo. And, you know, I just don't want to copy him. I don't want people to come to my channel and be like, oh, you're copying MGH. Because I started this series when the game barely came out. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to stay with Manchester. I really do love Manchester. But there are other teams I also want to manage. 
but I think I'm going to stay another season. Uh, but with that, let's get into the lineup of the last game of today's episode versus West Ham. We're going to have De Gea on goal, Rafael, Nemanja Vidic, Inigo Martinez, Fabio. We're going to have Carrick, Pogba. We're going to have Rooney, Nani, Robin Van Persie, and Ronaldo. Robin Van Persie was injured, but uh, you know he's back and he's better than ever. And uh, he wanted to play. I would have put him on the bench, but he suggested to, you know, make him play, so that's why I did. I put him as a striker, and uh, Rooney played very well in today's game in that 4-5-1, you know, formation. In that center midfield spot, he plays very well. He, Although he, he can only play a cam, center forward, and striker, he really fits that role of center mid. He's very, very good. He's a tacative, and overall, he's a very, very good freaking player. But he hasn't been going up and overall he hasn't been going down because he already reached his peak. He's already 29 years old and uh, he's not going to be getting better. Uh, Ronaldo is almost there. Uh, he has one more year with the club. Actually one and a half and uh, you know be sad to see him go away. But you know players go and come and we're facing West Ham in today's game. And uh, you know West Ham, they the first time I faced them this season they were a little better. But since the season progressed uh you know their players you know some of them did get better but we were playing much better and we do go up 1-0 with Ronaldo scoring a goal and you know Ronaldo's you know he's on fire he's a goal scoring machine uh you know he already has 25 goals in this season which is absolutely crazy it breaks my brain you know to see a, a left winger score that many goals and he's such a great attacker i think he already has like 30 33 goals in all competitions uh, you know in real life he does score many more but he does have that many we do give up this penalty but somehow Andy Carroll misses it I was tempting him you know I was standing on the left side with De Gea and I went the other way but I thought I was you know they were gonna I was gonna concede a goal but it does hit the post and after that we went on the counter-attack Ronaldo with the individual skill and you know that was such a great run from Ronaldo he got into space he cut in he treated so many defenders he dribbled everyone a beautiful scissor there and he shoots the ball and he made it 2-0 he already has a double and we didn't even make it to halftime I was looking for the hat trick from Ronaldo and you know it's crazy to see that Ronaldo still hasn't scored a hat trick he's been in our team for so long uh he scored doubles he scored singles but he still hasn't scored a hat trick and we went to halftime winning 2-0 and ronaldo really wanted that hat trick he's leading in goals in the champions league he's leading in the league and uh, you know if i would have put him in the fa cup games uh he would be the goal scorer there too but i barely put him in fa cup games uh you know i'm only going to be using my top players when we go to the semis and a final so just so you guys know about that but we did go to halftime and we were winning 2-0 a very good result so far facing West Ham United and uh, you know West Ham they didn't put the feet in they didn't put the hands in they just let me do whatever I wanted I scored punished them and uh, you know we used to play in the first half of this of the season we played more with ball possession and we still do today but you know every time we go on the counter-attack we somehow manage to do a great job uh, you know we have pacey players that really go up and attack uh, the, the defenders just you know they're lead, they're left shocked because our team is very good we have pacey players we go attack run and we score the goal but we we're trying to score more goals because uh, i wanted to score more goals and i wanted our goal difference to go up but we did win the game 2-0 full time was over ronaldo with two goals he could have made it 3-0 but you know he flopped and couldn't score but we're already in the last part of this episode and if you guys enjoyed this episode remember to leave a like and comment if you're new subscribe follow me on twitter and uh yeah if we get 50 likes i'm gonna upload that future of episode that's gonna be with germany on friday so you know stay tuned for that if we get the 50 likes we will be doing that but our next game is versus liverpool in the fa cup uh, that'll be the next game and uh, i'll be doing three episodes three games in an episode from now on and i'm quinkin and i'll see you next time Fire! <laughs>